It is Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie for your Tuesday podcast. Talking about rules in relationships when it comes to social media today. Oh, right. So not cheating. It's more online stuff. Well, well I mean, it, but I guess it depends what your idea of well, cheating is. Yeah, Some what people is cheating? might think that mm. following someone on Instagram or yeah. DMing them or, you know, sliding oh. into their messages is a form of well, that. Well, BJ, my wife, said, take that down the other day. And well, I was it? just showing how flexible I was. Right. <laughs> But I probably should have been <laughs> wearing something. <laughs> was an amazing flame, though, when you lit it. I thought it was awesome. I, mean, it's I was just like, how dare exercise you control video. me? How dare how you control dare me? How dare you tell me what to do with my body? And this is only my, fans. My body's... My body... Oh, now I can't even... My body, oh, my, my business. Gosh. No, my body's... My body's my body's... Hang on. <laughs> My body's nobody's business. No, my body's my uh, my body's nobody's. Just, oh, here we go! I've got it, guys. Go, <laughs> Don't go, go anywhere. Go. Okay, go. This is in the podcast. My body's nobody's body, but mine. Wow! Oh, yeah. I just deliver it and cut. Sorry, there was a plane going over. Can we do that again? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the podcast. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Have you ever had to go and rescue a pet before? Now, okay, this happened to me at Birchgrove um, last week. Unfortunately, I didn't see it when it happened, but I was there for the rescue. But um, around Birchgrove, um, there's a beautiful walk around there, and a lady, well, a lady was walking her dog. The dog has, well, it's tripped while walking alongside the water, yeah, and it's yeah. dropped around three metres oh, into the harbour. Yeah. And it couldn't get back up, obviously. Oh, no. Now, this is an elderly lady. Do you know what she's done, Kate? She's jumped in to rescue her dog. Careful. What kind of dog is it? Well, it was a tiny little... It was like a little um, oh, a little Maltese kind of dog. Yeah, right. And she's jumped in to save her dog. <sighs> then locals have discovered her, rung the Port Authority, and we've had to wait for a boat to come out. The Port Authority had to come out and rescue her and her dog. Was it water up to a flush wall, or were there rocks yeah, up, at the bottom? Up to a flush wall. Oh, there were scary. a couple, there scary, were a couple yeah. of rocks around, but she's gone in to save her dog. You know the other thing you'd be thinking, too... Hate to say it, plenty of sharks in the harbour. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's a dog. There's a dog flapping around. The, the odds of a shark I know. Very being rare. around the area. Very rare. Do you think? Is no, it rare? You can go for a swim in the harbour. I still do. Yeah, of course I do. All the time. But you know, they caught a bull shark under the um under the harbour bridge. Oh, they're fishing off the rocks. Is it more common to have them there in the depths of the harbour, in that deeper water, than in the beaches? Anywhere there's food. So I mean, if you want, if you want to risk your life, I reckon go for a swim just out here near the fish markets. Oh yeah, I reckon I'd go for a paddle through Blackwater Bay. I would love to hear if you've had to rescue a pet before, if they've gone into trouble before. Well, this this lady, this poor lady at the moment that's been oh, with yeah. the Irish Hounds set on her to Jack Russell. She oh. had to grab the Jack Russell and run into mud, and the dogs were attacking her and her dog at the same time. Do you know what? We were at a farm once having lunch with some friends, and I could hear this howling. And I must have been the only one that heard it. And I raced outside to have a look. The dog had jumped up onto a picket fence to try and get over the gate. Mm. And one of the spikes of the picket fence had gone under its collar. So it hadn't pierced the Jack Russell. Right. So it wasn't a Jack Russell. It was like a bulldog. Yeah. Hadn't pierced it at all, but it was stuck hanging on the fence. Oh, no. So I then had to lift this thing off oh. and unhook its collar from the fence. You did this. Accidental hero. Australian of the year. There's another chapter in my book. Amazing hero, The day I saved Pug. You are a Robert De Niro. Thank you, mate. Going in and doing and 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 saving a pet, though. I mean, you've got to. Well, it can be dangerous. It can be really. If you're putting yourself between your dog and another. Yeah, crocodile. Or a crocodile. What about the people who lose their dogs to crocodiles? Yeah, or the people the crocodile attacks and they throw the dog to the croc. Oh, I haven't seen. Did you Eat hear that? Not me. Did you see that someone got attacked by a croc in Northern Territory over the weekend? Yeah, a bit of a nibble on the arm. Yeah, something like that. I, I think they're okay. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They're fine. I saw that. Oh. Yeah, 
We're good. I think they've yeah, recovered. It's a good spot, that one. Beautiful. Love that. I've swum there. Love that spot. But I was, this poor lady, there was a moment where I thought, do I jump in to help her? You should have. But I didn't know. It what, was, what stopped you? Well, I don't. She looked like it she, was cold. It was, looked like she was <laughs> she was wading very well. I thought, no, you're all right. Doggy paddle. Just follow your dog. <laughs> you're 80, but your head's above water. Well, there was, there was a set of stairs there, but she didn't have the strength to get up the stairs and oh, lift the dog up at and, the same time oh, as well. She must love that dog. Thanks for helping, matey. No worries. Thanks for helping out the neighbours. Whatif.com helps Aussies make the most out of every trip. Book a hotel, flight, late checkout and spa all before you can say brekkie buffet. Jump on the What If app and get started. What If, it's Aussie for travel. Actually, the LA premiere for Barbie was overnight in LA. It was out of control. Yeah, like the, the amount of coverage it? Barbie is getting Huge. at the moment. I'm quite confused about what the movie will be. But Barbie and Ken look very hot. They do. I don't think it's a film you're taking your... Child too. Oh, no, I, I th- thought it was like a musical. No, I think it is a kids' movie. Well, how it? old though? Would I be taking a nine-year-old? To uh, are you see suggesting it? Ken drags Barbie back to an empty apartment somewhere? For no, about hours ago. No, I wasn't suggesting anything of the type. Adult themes. I, I think they're well, totally naughty. Ken. The demographics are all ages, guys. I, I think it's perfect marketing, though. Like the fact that we've seen Margot Robbie wearing pink. The out, yeah, the outfits. Oh yes, from the dolls yeah, or the, the uh, to all of the premieres. She looks, you know. She looks amazing. Love Margot Very talented Robbie. Gosling in a pink suit on the uh, red carpet, on the pink carpet last night was pretty good as well. Have a look at him. Yeah. Oh, and Dua Lipa. Did you see her? Oh, huge she fan. Amazing. Huge fan of her music. Do an encore. That's what they were saying. <laughs> That's what they were saying. I love a laugh. Hold on. Um, <laughs> do you want to talk about social media? Yes, please. And whether it causes problems within the relationship. We actually touched on this story yesterday, which is still floating around the internet and garnering quite a lot of discussion because Jonah Hill's ex, um, he has since moved on and had a baby with another woman. Um, his ex has now come up, uh, come out. Um, her name is Sarah. And she has posted quite a quite a few text messages that she had received from Jonah throughout the relationship stating what his boundaries were. Yeah. And if you, you know... She was if, an ex-surfer, a very good surfer, so yeah. she used to put up a lot of surfing videos yeah. 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 And of, of course, her in bikinis. She's in she's in her bathers. Yeah. I mean, and that, that makes complete sense, but I think Jonah thought it was always going a step beyond that. Right. Um, he actually said something that, um, it, it, that some of the behaviour that was not, he would not control within the relationship were um, uh, Brady, which is the girlfriend, yep. surfing with men, modelling, posting pictures of herself in a bathing suit, having friendships with women who are in unstable places from your wild recent past beyond getting lunch or a coffee or something respectful. Well, you can't, you can't, oh, you can't set boundaries. He's like trying that. to build a fence around her, isn't he? Well, I think he is, and I think that's where. Uh, I mean, instantly you read a message like that, and you think, well, that's that's awful. And this person, as she had labelled him, is a misogynist and nasc- yep. narcissistic. Um, but then there's been some discussion overnight too. Is that people are allowed to set boundaries? Yep. You know, I mean, I don't think they have to do it like that. No, no. I think there's an air of um, control, or much more so, of an air. So let's let, okay. Can we focus on in thirteen, twenty, four, ten? If you've been in a relationship where someone has set boundaries for you on your social media, yeah. What yeah. do they say? Now this could be showing too much flesh to the people that you hang out with, and I can understand if you've just come out of a relationship and you don't want someone putting up photos of an ex or anything like that. Is, no. that, is that asking someone what too you- far? Don't put up photos of your ex if I'm going out with you. I uh, yeah. Well, I think that that one's pretty. I do, I do think do a lot of the approval. other one that there's, there's a bit more of a grey area, which is you're not going out with that person anymore, um, so you shouldn't be following them. Like the, there's, a, you know, whether you're not allowed to be friends, whether Does that's matter? in real life or online. Yeah, gotcha. Um, the, we're only we're talking about this too because there was a story that that came out overnight of these two young. Um, kids in Virginia. They're like 21, they're married, young yeah. Christian, you know, sure. good people, but then they've 
come out and said that this is how we're going to make our relationships work. But they've even gone to extreme measures like, um, you know, make sure you you tell all your classmates and professors uh, that you're married. You cannot call or text the opposite gender without the other spouse present. And that even includes in this relationship the woman texting or calling her brother. Oh, my God. That's that's emotional abuse. Absolutely. We we have a general rule um, where I'll go, okay, to post that, can I post that? Oh, okay, so you need you, do that you in need our Lisa's permission, permission yeah. before you post. Yeah, BJ's a bit the same. Yeah, we yeah. do that. And then I'd do that, though, especially if you have kids. Yeah. Like, if you're yeah. sharing a family, it's like, are you comfortable with this? Are comfortable with me sharing you this? You were the dog walker or yeah. something like that? Yeah, well, you know, and I'll, if BJ is passed out, hung over, yeah, and yeah. she has vomit coming out of her mouth, I'll go, is that all right to <laughs> yep. post? Yep. It's yeah. funny. It's and everyone will have a laugh, yep. but how do you feel about you know the hardest I'm about one to is- publicly <laughs> humiliate you, but I need your consent. The hardest one is for parents, I reckon, if it's a kid and they disagree. And you're going, well, that's my kid, so I don't want it up there. Well, that's my kid. I'm all right with it up there. Oh, so you okay. Go, oh. Oh, do you mean the kid themselves? Because I think um, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's daughter, Apple... She wasn't on mum and dad's social media for a long time At because all. she said, I just don't. Can you not? I'm a young person and yep. I have my own rights and Good boundaries and mm-hmm. I don't want you to post me. Tommy, do you get into trouble? Like with. with oh, the, thirst trap. No, well, for the parties that you <laughs> go to on the weekend with leather and stuff like that, do, does Inga have to get the last sort of sign off with what you yeah, post? Yeah, of course. As long as it's all legal, guys. That's Tommy, her main sort of in thing. In all seriousness, really. right? Let's talk about what you did not long ago. Uh-huh. Where you sat down on the couch, you thought, why am I following all these attractive girls and Mm. ex-nannies? Yeah. So... (laughs) Did you actually do this? Because I think it's very good to cull every now and then and get rid of the garbage. Tommy, what? they're not garbage, Kate. No, I don't mean the... He thought they were stunning. (laughs) Most of them were in bikinis. I don't mean... You know what I mean? Life, garbage and clutter. But, Tommy, all you were doing was experiencing some escapism. So that's similar to listening to music, watching a TV show. Oh, Oh, my God. No, I mean, you're there with a with a pillow on your lap, but no, it was fine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, but no, no, it was a real moment for me because I was like, "Well, why am I why am I liking this bikini shot that I have?" You know, it doesn't and Kendall, strike me as you. Yeah, no, I know, and that's maybe the problem. But the um, <laughs> Kendall, they all think I'm innocent. Kendall, Kendall Jenner's the next on my list. She may, she may get. She won't go. How are you feeling yeah. about that? Is it a hard that, one to let go of? Yeah, that will be sad. That'll be a sad what, day for her. Do you guys find yourself, you know, because you? <laughs> You, everyone talks about algorithms now and TikTok and, and and Instagram is doing now as well. If you if you actually if you press on an, on a video, they'll send you more videos of that same topic. Do you find yourself now that when you go to Instagram and you're looking at you know I have that page where you go to the search page yep. and it will just it'll give you all the topics videos you're interested that, in. that you're interested in and you go whoa I better go back to bands oh. for a bit. Oh. <laughs> give me one margarita. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Do you know what? I do love it when the sun comes out and you can find yourself a good pool to have a swim in. Oh, yeah. Throw in a diving board too and you've got my attention. Best pools in Sydney. Leichhardt. Yeah, Leichhardt's oh, pretty good. Mate, I great do love pool. that. Well, they, you know what really me is that the diving board has cracked and no one's allowed to use the diving no. board anymore. That pool's been out of action for a while, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, that, no, they, well, the used, diving area. they used the deeper pool. Um, you can do some mate, aqua aerobics there. I'm into that. Boy Charlton. Oh, yeah, Boy Charlton. Is that Love the, that one. What's the one at Woolloomooloo across from... That's the one. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, Mrs. That's Macquarie's the one. chair. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful. Awesome. The other one is the North Sydney one, which is right next to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Oh, right yes. Right next to Luna, Luna Park. Park. yeah. Um, now, no one can swim in that one, though. Yeah. <laughs> what the, do you mean? Well, from 2015, this is when Mike Baird was Premier, they decided to do some work on the North Sydney Pool, and they started work. You could still swim in it there, yep. but it's still not complete. That started Since in 20, 2015. 2015, to the point now that um, the Sydney Morning Herald have written an article, seven things that were completed faster than the North Sydney <laughs> Olympic Pool. <laughs> the Titanic is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> the Titanic was completed in three years. Yep. The Sydney Monorail awesome. um, started building in 1984. That was completed in 1988, so that was four years. Great. The Burj Khalifa, which wow. is in Dubai, that's the 
world's tallest building. Don't. It stands an incredible 828 metres high. <laughs> that took five years to build. That's probably got 20 pools in it. You've got Marina Bay Sands is in there as well yep. in Singapore. That's unbelievable. And the other one as well, World War II um, was completed <laughs> quicker <laughs> than the North <laughs> Sydney <laughs> Olympic oh, Pool. Wow. What is wrong with the pool? Like, are we retiling? Can't yeah. we just drop a hose into it well, with a bit of chlorine? You know, this, and this is the thing. The old quote has, well, it's ballooned. It's gone ah. from, I think it's gone from around about, started at $25 million, and now it's up to $89 million. Ah. $25 million. What are they doing to well, it? For a pool, yeah. Because ah. wasn't that the original pool that was, it was a yeah. metre short, wasn't it? That was the whole yeah. issue. They built They built a championship swimming pool. Yep. And it was, it was a metre short. Meter short. <laughs> Whoops. So it they was, couldn't use it for any championship. It was 49 metres. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I mean, I, I, if they're listening Cursed. right now, the people there at the pool, I'll do the job for 15. I'll do it for 15 mil. <laughs> That, no, you right. Your initial quote of 25, I'll get it done for 15. That engineering failures could be a good one because in South Australia they had an expressway that you could only use one way and at 2 o'clock they would swap it over. So everyone had to leave the expressway oh. and swap it over and you could go the <laughs> other way home. <laughs> so <laughs> people would be racing to get through before and 2 then, o'clock. And then five years later the government went, well, we got heaps of land. Why don't we do it both ways? Nah. Oh, great idea. Oh. <laughs> These guys are genius. The big banana in Cox. Yep. They had a ski slope that they put there, yeah. random thing to do in the mid-north coast, was too shallow, and so skiers wouldn't move down the slope, oh. and so now it just uses oh. tyres and just slides down there as well. Doesn't take skiers. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Can I just do a bit of a shout out to the dog owners of this world? And I would love to have a dog. It just doesn't suit our house at the moment. But um, I just want to remind everybody. I thought you were still deciding about the dog. What if your kids are listening? A lot and they of conversations think about the dog. Dad has decided there's no dog. No, we're still talking about it. But for those current dog owners that might walk their dog around the streets, I just want to reinforce. Could you please pick up your poo? Oh, no. Please pick up your poo. Sorry, not your that, poo. The dog. Sorry, no, the dog's that, poo. Yeah, it dog. wasn't the dog. That was oh, me. Right. I, need to I think go. you know the difference. You know, sometimes if you ever randomly just found go one on. in the park where you're like, that is not a dog. <laughs> that's not a dog. Yeah, that's. I remember. That's quite human. And the dog walker then yeah. does his pants up. Oh, I, I remember like, we were at. No, um, when we were kids, we went to the local. We went to the Port and Alunga Lawn Bowls and it was on the green. And I went, uh, that is not. Not a dog. That's, that's a buck to That buddy. is a local who has got into a bit of trouble coming home from yep. the pub. And really on the... I suppose it's a nice environment. Beautiful green mm, carpet. Nice yet. level playing field <laughs> It for is level. Feet. It's not too spiky. So the other day, this was just before we went on our holiday together, Kate. <laughs> we It was the Wednesday night, bin night at our joint. I'm dragging the bins out. Anyway, I walk back in. And I'm in a rush trying to tidy the house because my sister was coming to stay in the house God, while we were away. Good guy. So I walk into the kitchen, I walk through, I walk over to the kids in the lounge, and then I look down at the floor and I go, oh my God, who's got dog poo on their shoes? Oh uh, no. There's only one bloke that's been across the nature strip and that's the guy putting the bins out. For my good work, the reward I got for putting the bins out was poo. On my shoes. Yeah. And ha- where had you walked it? Just uh, just through the hallway, down the hallway, into the kitchen. So timber? Yeah, or timber, carpet? and then around onto two different mats, two different rugs. Was it in... Oh, yeah, because the, the bottom, the soles of your shoes as well, yeah, that's the thing. The oh, were you wearing your brogues? No, it wasn't, oh. not the brogues. Oh, my goodness. Not the brogues. Guys, don't not panic. The, not the brogues the, were fresh on the night. Not the velvet <gasps> ox bloods. No, not the velvet oh ox bloods. Why were you there for a second? So, that would have compl- would have been a disaster in France. Kate and I go on the holiday together on the Thursday, right? We fly okay. out and we're we there in Queenstown together and we're having dinner and we're having pasta and we're, we had a great time together. We, we had, had an awesome time. Yeah, we anyway, had an okay time. The thing was, my sister who then came to stay, because I'd spent most of that night trying to clean the floor and the rug, she then rang me afterwards saying, I've just taken little Eliza to the doctor who's her kid, who's maybe one and a half. Mm. She's got a bacterial infection that the doctor has suggested has come from animal faecal matter. Because some lazy punk 
didn't pick up the turd that I then walked through oh, the house so that the kid on the floor got on its hands and then stuck the hands in the mouth to now be at a hospital didn't because you... your dog did a poo on the lawn. Didn't you clean it? I did everything I could. You can only clean so much. Well, oh, you've obviously haven't done a very. Isn't good that extraordinary? Job. Is that what happened to Madonna so, as well with well, her yeah, bacterial yeah. infection? <laughs> Madonna had her hands I don't know. in a whole lot of dog poo. <laughs> Do you know? And I, 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 kids just, have to do. Kids but, have to. I'm not saying that's great that your niece went to the doctor or was in hospital, but don't you have to build an immune system? I mean, yes, every kid at some point is going to eat uh, animal fecal fake, matter. That's so my true. sister used to do it to the cat. Beck, does she? No, not Beck. Well, no. If they Beck, get these Susan. diseases while they're young, that's why no, my boys, my boys have got gout at the moment. I said that's good for you in the long run. <laughs> You'll get that when you're about sixty. Are you but upset I'm about just, the neighbours? What you've got to think about is the wave effect of when that dog I did a poo it. to the time spent cleaning yeah. to now people on a holiday with a little kid now in hospital because you thought it was okay to leave a Richard the Third on my front lawn. Yeah. No, I. You know I, what I mean? I mean yeah, when I you agree. when I'm when, thi- I'm thinking about now it's quite funny i mean and there's a lot of layers to it and it's great it's very entertainment layered. for the show it is and i also uh, i i'm just picking up on a theme here yeah, with pick you. up the steamer no is that uh, are you well liked in the neighborhood yeah, <laughs> really. Remember i don't because don't yeah. you think there's, there's you think it's loud, deliberate? loud parties well, I don't no. Loud parties going on, people pooing out the front. You think people are bre- deliberately no. bringing their dogs to out the front of my house mm. to foul on my beautiful buffalo? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Sometimes coat. it's best. But when sometimes oh, things like this happen, you need to work, look within. What, you, what do you put on? What you're um, putting out to the universe. What do you put on grass Ripper. areas to stop dogs from pooing? Don't you put on knives? Um, no, a <laughs> bottle of water. Yeah, it's a bottle of water. Is Kate, that dogs? Is. Or, I think that's cats. No, it's it's dogs. We have a random cat in our backyard. Right. To think that you've to think that there has been a coordinated attack. Like there's a poo army out there that yeah. have They're decided. Not. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. On have my a, bin night, the have dogs. Think about it. The dogs of Rose Bay have mm. got together. Well, you're the usually <laughs> the leader of that group. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Fitzy and Weaver with Kate Ritchie. Hey, that's a secret. Podcast password. If you want to get your hands on stacks of great prizes, just head over to our Instagram stories at Fitzy Whipper Kate and enter this password. Today's password is. Dog Pill. The Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Now, this is big. In a massive radio exclusive, you can win Kate Ritchie's car. Jump in my car. It's Nova's Impreza for Kate Ritchie's Impreza. I love this. That don't impress me. Oh, good. You know, I've been racking my brain since earlier in the show where you said, who is the biggest celebrity that's been in my yes, car? Yes, yes, give me one. Give I've me got one. nothing. Oh, come on. I just Throw don't me think... one. Like, is it... Um... Or Chris Hemsworth? Well, I can say yes, but it's not true. No, well, is it... Is it a, you Chris know, Martin. You you know what, because you... Oh, Tim Blackwell? Notoriously, Blackness, yep. you refuse to take anyone in your car. You you don't give anyone a lift from work. I do. I will do that. And actually, referring back to the drive show, Tim stopped asking me for a lift anywhere, because I think very early on in the show, when I first joined and I was working with Marty Shegold, he asked for a lift to the SCG. Yeah. Or it was something like that, a Friday yeah. night yeah. after the show. He'd left his car at home. And I, I dropped him so far away. Oh. <laughs> I'm not turning in there. Too much traffic. And, of course, I knew exactly what had happened. He texted Marty straight away and said, you know what she did? She dropped me up the road. I'll yep, never, never ask again. her again. Never again. It's, a, it's, a, it's actually a good car. 2019 Subaru Impreza sedan. How many Ks has it done, Kate? It's got about, well, it's probably about 40, it's oh, over 40,000. 44, 45. That's good. Yeah, that's fresh. Yeah. That's really fresh. And it's, you know, it's comfortable. Yeah. Um, it, it, it has served, it's served. Served me, it served me very well. All right, well, you're going to impress Kate. That is what you need to do if you want to win this car. You can register on the Nova Player app or give us a call 13 24 10. Jamie in Richmond, how are you going to impress Kate, Jamie? Hey, guys, I think I've possibly got the best dad joke ever. Oh, here we Ooh. go. That's great. Okay. Turn this down, Leno. Let's have a listen. Off you go. How do you find Will Smith in the snow? How do you find oh, Will no. Smith in the snow? Uh, well, how do you? How? You follow the fresh prints. Oh, oh yeah! Oh. That is 
Please, that I am so relieved. That yeah, is such a know. great joke. That impresses me. I, I thought it's just been run by the producers. Oh, that does impress me. Oh, just fresh. Well, just Ooh, yeah, you know, relief. it's not bad. It's a good one. It's a good, oh, one, it's a good one, Jamie. Thank You're you, Michelle. Running. What have you got for me? Hi, Kate. Hi, um, Kate. Hoping to impress you with my magic suit that disappears and the kids just love. Oh, well, you know soup. I'm a soup fan, oh, Michelle. Soup I recipe, do. Michelle. What kind of soup it's, is it? It's chicken and veg, but it just disappears in a second and it gets requests from my harshest critics, which oh, are the kids. Yeah. I so like... Is there any um, special ingredients or something that maybe I wouldn't be doing in my chicken soup? Um, chicken. Well, Finergan. <laughs> Chickens, <laughs> stop. Oh, look, look. I, I love it. And you tr- I know what you're trying to do, Michelle. You're trying to reach me through my heart yep. and my tummy. I know, um, I know you love your soup and uh, you cut your... Is that a bit boring? Uh, no, well, it's not it's boring. Bo- it's not boring. You think Soup Club's boring. It's not boring. But I'd love to see your recipe, Michelle, and we can get yeah. back to you, I think, if you want to <laughs> share and it I, with me. If I had your car, I'd deliver it to your house. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh okay. do. Well, 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 I don't know if that's such really, a good thing, Michelle. You're pushing up hard now, aren't you, Michelle? Michelle, you are no chance. Right. Let's go to Sam in Wakeley. How are you going to impress Kate, Sam? G'day, gents. Hi, Kate. How are you? I'm very well, Sam. That's good. Kate, I actually, um, back in the days, about probably about 22, 23 years ago, mm-hmm. I actually, I always used to watch on TV and everything. Yeah. And one time I was at uh, a trade night for work. Oh. And I've met this girl and she looked split image of you. Wow. Where's that this I've going? actually dated for about six months. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wasn't me. And, no, 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 no. It wasn't <laughs> was you. No, no, she looked absolutely image of you. Okay. And what do I we, look like, Sam? We need proof of this, Sam. I want to know Sam. what I look Sam. like. I know. I, I, I wish if I had a proof, proof of that. Well, you it's don't even have a photo. No. 22, 23 years ago. What are you oh, saying? Sam. Sam. Come on, man. Serious. Yeah, but, honestly, that's cool. right. She actually lives in Perth. She's oh, and she's so phone. far away. Yeah, okay. yeah. A, yeah, a, a for soup me phone to... call and a story with no evidence. That's this is why you're wasting my time. No, but I'm also a basic. I mean, not a basic girl, but I'm kind of. You know, I like simple things. That's true. So you never know. One of these stories might get over the line. I think we're going to go to Charlotte as well. Charlotte. Hi guys. Hi. Hey Kate. Hi. Now this is uh, appa- am... apparently it's harder for you because you're on the bus at the moment. But what have you oh, got? Well, for... I got off the bus. Okay. You guys mean so much to me. Great. So. Great. Okay. <laughs> How are you um, going I... to press Kate? I have a party trick, and I'm currently a full-time pedestrian, so I definitely need a car. Okay. Um, I can make a duck sound using my saliva glands, and I can also talk while I do it. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I am so intrigued. Yeah. All right. Okay, here we, here we go. go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Can you hear that? So, wait, t- yeah, can you hang tell on a second. Me where that's just... coming out from? Yeah, so I did it when I was like a kid, and the doctors were like, "It's coming from her saliva glands." They're a little bit worried because I went through a period of life where I just talk nonstop while doing it. So, can you talk? I mean, we we heard the duck noise, but we didn't hear yeah. you talk through the duck noise. Okay, let me let me go. Yeah, just hey, hey, I'd love to win your car. <laughs> What Hang on, that? I'm so confused. Are you telling me you're talking through your saliva gland? So I'm making the sound through my saliva glands and then I'm doing my voice on the top. So I, can just, I can do two things at once. Oh, okay. You've had a big day, haven't you? Charlotte. Terrible. Wait. Oh, but this is the thing. I have to pick someone. I want... <laughs> I, no, you don't. I want to see... No good. Can you send me a video, Charlotte? I can send you a video if you guys like. Okay. Well, you know what, Charlotte? Oh, my God. Now, the reason why you, we need proof, and <laughs> Sam needed to send through a photo that looked exactly like Kate as well, but he can't do that. So we need proof because Julie yesterday yes. said that she met Queen the band, went backstage. That's right, Julie with a G. And she got personalised messages from all the band members from Queen. Queen. We have got proof. Kate, She's, have a look at those. Sent, she sent the photos. That, I mean, the quality of the photos themselves is not great. I love the old school autograph book. Yep. We've got Brian May, yep. Freddie Mercury. There is they are. There is a signed to Julie. So, I mean, not all you, of them. But so we got proof on Julie. Is Julie through to the next round? Is she a finalist? Uh, Julie absolutely well, is. Does impress Julie. me much. Love it when you sing your own stinks. I don't want to be a hater, but I'm just a bit disappointed because the talent isn't equaling the prize. Oh, okay. We're giving okay. away Kate Ritchie's car, yeah. and you're calling through with a soup recipe or a duck noise. But I love a, I love soup whip.
Is it, you is, know? It, is it about impressing me or you? It's about impressing you, but I want people to step up and okay. really give us something that we've never heard before. Okay, right. okay. If you've got a party trick, if there's a memorable story, a joke, I don't mind. Yeah, the joke was good. You, you know, I, and the soup recipe, I don't mind, but it has to be quite unique, I would say, if you're going to get through to the soup club. But um, you can register on the Nova Player app and we'll get your talent on at some stage to win Kate's car. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Tell you what, Chris Hemsworth will be saying, wake me up in Ibiza at the moment. They're celebrating his old man's birthday, 68th birthday. Oh, Craig. Craig is 68 and he has taken the whole family. They went to Mykonos first, met the Damons there. So Matt Damon and his wife and their family. And they've popped over to Spain to Ibiza yeah. just to party with Dad, who's 68 years old. I age. was a bit Pretty disappointed cool. this morning. Page three of the paper, you'll see the picture of Chris and Elsa on the beach there. And the headline reads, they stick out like a Thor thumb. It's not bad. They're just, they're out of Thor puns. And I want to I want to say to the paper this morning, because I've looked at your cooking section as well, you don't have to have a pun in your headline. Okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Make it every fifth. Remember, I mean, you've you yeah. burnt out the Thor pun. You've killed the Thor pun. And he's Remember? much more than Thor. Isn't he thought of? Tommy, we come up with the idea <laughs> for the was. show. This was a couple of years ago, yeah. but we were going to get Whip to go on the Chris Hemsworth diet yes. to see if he could, how close he could get to Thor, and it was going to be called yeah. Thought Of. Thought of. Thought of. I thought, I thought of got there. So you, if you looked at Whipper a hundred metres away, yeah. in, dressed up as Thor... Could you tell the difference? Uh, oh, you'd have thought to change... You'd cha- thought of. Yeah, I've done my hair. <laughs> you'd have to change the hair. You'd have to recruit the... Um, uh, who's his stand oh, Bobby, da- Bobby Dazzler. Bobby Dazzler, yeah, yeah, the stunt man. Yeah. Yeah, he could... He Bobby's could ready to go. Get you on the rower. I love that. Hey, Kate, can I ask you about one of his mates, Fisher? He's a DJ. Have you met Fisher before? Yes. yes. <laughs> Is he that mad guy I... I've met. He's yes. a character. He is. He's a great the guy, fish actually. Hole. I have, yes, met Good him surfer. on a few occasions. He's one of the world's biggest DJs now. He's played at Coachella. He's massive. Yeah. He was doing an interview over in London, um, and the guy who was interviewing him asked him about Chris Hemsworth. Now, have a listen to this. Um, I want you to listen to the end of this. He goes through his relationship with Chris, but he tells a little story at the end. He was telling me that he got a part as Thor, and he was like, yeah, I'm doing this thing. I'm going to have a hammer and I'm like a f-ing hammer what's that <laughs> He's going to be a superhero with a hammer, and now he's like the biggest Marvel character ever. Any plans of teaching him how to DJ? He always says, you just push play and walk away, mate. Oh. <laughs> um, he's more of like a Ed Sheeran kind of guy. You've yeah. got to corrupt him. Well, he came to Ibiza and didn't make my show because he got too pissed beforehand. <laughs> like he's feeling everywhere, so there you go. He's going to hate that when you put that on air. <laughs> Freaks. Or had a thunder. So he had Fish pre-drinks up. and got too excited. Now, don't get me wrong. How good are pre-drinks? Like, yeah. when you get excited about a, <laughs> about a big day, when you've got a big day coming, I know, it's but a even, wedding a, even or a, a wedding, like, yes. I think sometimes I when nervous. people do it the night before, or even, you know, that Dangerous. cheeky glass of champagne, yep. that, or, or, you know, um, Prosecco you might have in, in the chair having your makeup done, because yeah. you think it's part of a celebration, and it goes to your head. You have an Eaten for eight weeks. Well, it's, it's, so it's, well, it's gone it's, straight to you. People have always said with anxiety and yeah. when you get nervous, it always takes the edge off. But I totally disagree with that. <sighs> I, th- I think it actually slurs you even more. Oh, it I, makes, I don't think alcohol does a no. lot of I've good cut for back. anyone. I've cut back big time. Because I told you about how I went to that 35th birthday party not long ago. I don't know if this is responsible to share on the radio, Tom, but I had a couple of beers and I thought I'd be safe if I stuck to the beers. And the house wasn't far from where we live. And it got to sort of one stage of the night and I said to Lisa, I think I might just walk home. I've had enough now and I had a few whiskeys after the beers. And I walked outside and I went, whoa. It just hit me like nothing else. The cool air. But that's what Dad said. Be the cool air, be the fresh air, mate. I don't think By it's the, the fresh time air. I got home. I think you, no, you, you, I oh, I stood up, or oh, it's the I fresh tore, air, or oh, I haven't yeah, eaten. I think it's, it's the, the bourbon. It's I, half the big neck <laughs> hanging out of your mouth as I well. tore a hole in my pants and fell into someone's front yard. I got home to the nanny and had half a bush hanging out of my head. Oh, no. Yeah, the new suit was ruined. It was the first which, time out. Which the, nanny was it? <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to say then. No, but that's why you've got to you've got to calculate. You've got to yeah. work out 
what works for you, and I learned well, a lesson that night. First day in IB for though, as if you are not getting excited and going first a little bit fever. too crazy. And mm. he didn't even get to the Fisher gig because no, he had a few too well, many. Let's not talk about what happened that time in LA on first night fever when oh, Monsieur Ivy met a lady at the bar oh, and Monsieur. found out the hard way that she was not your average girl. No, don't don't <laughs> you start as well because you were both you, you were both a lot of money. This lady come oh, over at the bar. A very okay? friendly lady. So very, friendly. Very friendly lady. And then when she said, I've just got to go, I've just got to go to the powder room, they both, Whipper and Tom were going, oh my gosh, th- this girl is giving off the biggest vibes. I said, have a look at her business card. And what did it say? And her name was... Sexy Nina. Sexy um, Nina. Was about, <laughs> about 20 X's in the sexy. Um, anyway. Can, is this true? She, I don't know what kind of team I have joined. I just, don't, I just wouldn't have bought her the breakfast buffet the next morning. <laughs> no, I get it. Well, we've all done the wrong thing, but um, no. Big shout out to Sexy Nina. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Rich. Is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.